Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to European Truck Simulator. Today we're delivering some gifts in European Truck Simulator, helping Santa out for the event that's happening in European Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator simultaneously, which is pretty neat. Uh, so you get these through your uh, external contracts there. So that is what we, uh, what we got going on today. Uh, so we're actually delivering a package from, or I say gifts, I should say, from, from Paris to Calais in France, sticking with the France DLC, as much as we can at least. So let's see if we can't get her done. All right, there we go. Got some Christmas music going on, which is pretty odd for me. I'm not a huge Christmas music person, but I figured uh, tis the season, so to speak. All right. Looks like we're good to go. Excellent. This is, uh, got my automatic transmission once again. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can't do this. I don't think there's a, a distance limit to uh, how far you are supposed to go. That was close to that pole. How, how far you're supposed to go for each uh, particular drop-off. Uh, but as far as I know, it's only 10 cities. So I did one uh, in American truck sim, and I'm going to do this one in European truck sim. So we'll see what happens. It'll be kind of curious to see how it all plays out, actually. So, But it, uh, I forget how easy it is to drive an automatic in this game. Uh, I did a little bit of American truck sim earlier on, and I, it was just silly easy in comparison to... <laughs> Uh, this is silly easy in comparison to American Trucks, American Trucks in because I have it set to automatic in this game right now, so. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, I, as far as I can tell, like, from what people are saying in the comments, it's pretty normal to have an automatic transmission, uh, truck in, oh, I guess we're going a little too fast there. Uh, it's pretty common to have an, Amer uh, an automatic truck, uh, in Europe, actually. So I have been told at least. So it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure. Like I think in the United States and Canada, it's becoming more of a thing, but it's still not a thing. So I guess uh, I don't know. I just I guess it depends on the company. Like some companies who can afford it probably do it, and some companies who maybe can't go stick with what uh, what works. So at least that's what I think is, is the reason behind it. At least so. I feel like there should be snow everywhere. I don't think I know if there's a a snow uh, mod. There probably is. There should be at least. I don't know. I didn't even look actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have. Oh well. Not everywhere in Europe do they get snow, right? Right? I'm pretty sure England doesn't get a lot of snow. France, I think it does. I don't know how much though. I'm not sure if it's uh super snowy in France or if it's just like a light snow. I know in the Netherlands they haven't had snow f uh, where at least I know one person hasn't had snow in the Netherlands for the last like you know three years I think during Christmas so it really depends on where you are. Uh, here where I am in, uh, in Ontario, Canada we've gotten I think in the last little while we've gotten maybe in inches probably more than 12 inches easily. Uh, in centimeters it's you know 30, 30 centimeters plus or 12 inches plus, whatever. Uh, easily in both cases, just because <laughs> like every day we've gotten snow, and today it's like plus one, so it's like above freezing today, so go figure. So some of the snow that was in the ground is now melting, so should be interesting to see <laughs> kind of mess that makes in the end of the day. Uh, does that say 80? Looks like it does, yeah. Doesn't matter, our turn's coming up here anyway, so. It's funny, I gotta try to remember to use my uh, my retarder in this game a bit more. Although I don't feel it slows the truck down very fast, though. Oh, it's just a yield. I can live with that. Okay, we're good. Uh, but yeah, it definitely feels like uh, there we go. So it's off. Uh, it definitely feels like uh, it doesn't slow the truck down nearly as much as some of the modded trucks, at least. And I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but. Oh, that's a vocal one. I didn't want the vocal ones. Oh, well. This is all YouTube music. I just wanted the instrumental jazz music because it was so chill in comparison to all the vocals. Oh, well. Say lovey. 
But uh, hopefully you all have a very Merry Christmas or Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a lovely holiday season and enjoy yourself uh, responsibly, of course. And that applies to everybody. So for me, I'm just hanging out with my wife. Uh, she works Christmas Eve and Boxing Day, basically. So we are both going to be hanging out on uh, Christmas Day. And then uh, that'll be it, basically. And then I think after Christmas, she has a few days off. Or after Boxing Day, I should say, she has a few days off. So I think it's, she works a couple days in a row. I can't remember what it is. but So this is what the gifts look like. It'd be neat if, it would be neat if the uh, the ribbons actually kind of like float in the air um, as you were driving along. But that might be a little bit too much to render <laughs> uh, in, in this kind of game. So almost at Calais, apparently. Let's get a quick sip of coffee here. The ever important coffee. Mmm, so good. Well, this morning it was really, really good. But now it's not as good as it was this morning, but. That's the way it is. I think those lines are supposed to mean like stay to the left or stay to the right. I was watching uh, G the Grand Tour the other day uh, uh, with Jeremy Clarkson and all them, and I noticed those same lines, and I was like, okay, that must be must be a thing in Europe. I don't think I don't remember ever seeing it here in uh, Ontario, at least. No left turn there. Oh, good to go. What do truckers do if they want to stop for gas or fuel? I should say. I guess they don't, or do a huge U-turn, like, that seems a bit rough. They try and do a U-turn on that, so. This has to be still one of my favorite trucks out of all the trucks uh, so far is the Mercedes. Mercedes, how are you supposed to say it? Benz, as they would say in some places in the U.S. and Canada. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little, nice little truck. Well, it's not a, small, not a little truck. It's like a 550 horsepower truck. So it's very quiet in comparison to the American trucks I discovered. It's very quiet. Like you don't realize how quiet it is until you're like driving until you're driving this and you go straight into American truck sim. And you're like, wow, they're way louder. So it depends on <laughs> what you're feeling that day. Like if you want like a nice, cool, calm, relaxing ride, both games work well for it. But if you want a quiet ride, then European truck sim is definitely your. Uh, you're the optimal choice in this context. But I have to admit the scenery in this game is still spectacular. I got this guy named actually uh, Mr. Ironbrew got this the he gifted European Truck Simulator to me originally and uh, long long ago so thank you again Ironbrew for watching. Anyways um, and I ever since I started playing like you know more seriously and uh, I got a steering wheel and stuff like I still think it's a spectacular game from you know however many years ago that was now. It is just a great looking game. Very relaxing. Well, I find myself, I don't know how, how often, uh, how long I can play for it. It depends, like, I find that uh, when I'm, you know, in the zone, I can play for a long time. Uh, but when I'm not in the zone, I'll do like one or two runs maybe, and then I'll kind of, you know, hop on something else and play some farm sim or something. But uh, one of the biggest things I miss in American Truck Sim is the Cabin Accessories DLC. I think I say this every single time, but I don't realize how much I miss it because, hey, having like, you know, your, your, your little, uh, I don't know what you can call that, your duffel bag and your hula girl and your Tim Hortons cup. Like, you can't have that in American Truck Sim yet. I hope they add it soon or at some point. Now that they finish with the uh, the rescale, they may add some more stuff, or maybe a new state. A new state would be even better than the D that particular DLC. But the cabin accessories DLC is pretty slick. They're kind of uh, they're kind of doing that a little bit in American Truck Sim now. Like they added the uh, uh, the tuning. Uh, yeah, I guess there's a tuning pack. I think they added, and they added uh, the steering wheels. Um, so they've added a few things which kind of have a similar idea, but it's I find that it's not quite exactly the same. Not quite the same, but maybe one day, we'll see. Which game do you prefer? Do you prefer European Truck Simulator or do you prefer American Truck Simulator and why? It's always a big question. I think right now, depending if you want like more, uh, some longer journeys, I think European Truck Sim is going to be your uh, your choice. Although with the rescale, it definitely feels longer in uh, American Truck Sim, which is the idea, right? So. 
There we go. I feel like this is should be slower. Oh, there it goes, 70. <laughs> I was like, ah, why does it feel like I'm going really fast around these corners? Because I was. No passing. Okay, let's slow down. Looks like we got to wait. 50 kilometers an hour through this next little zone. And we're uh, going to the left lane here. Go ahead, buddy. I don't know if it's a green light for us. Let's go to a quick, quick screenshot while we're just waiting for the uh, the truck. Although I don't think it moves when we're in this mode. But all right, let's see. It looks pretty good actually with that red gift and uh, that Canadian paint job. Looks pretty slick. Let's continue. Is he gonna go? I guess that means caution. I suppose. You know, I don't think I've seen any of this in American Truck Sim. Like road work? I don't think. There may be one spot. But I honestly can't remember. Seven clicks, buddy, let's go. Yeah, I don't know if they have that. Just thinking about it. But the automatic transmission definitely makes this game really easy. Well, more, I guess you can focus on the driving more, which isn't necessarily a bad thing for me because uh, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I'm not a professional driver, not by a long shot. All right, let's put the hammer down, see if we can't pass this guy. Yes, this is putting the hammer down on a truck. It may not seem like that, but it's, this is putting the hammer down. It's important to get past them before the uh, the road uh, merges again. Hopefully we don't get a ticket. Although with my luck we probably would. Let's go for 75 and see if they give us a ticket. I think in Europe they're a bit more strict with, uh, they're not, not really lenient at all. Because there's lots of speed traps. So if you're going, you know, faster than the actual speed, you'll get a ticket. Well, it's 90 here. All right, let's increase our speed then. It'll go up to 90, and then the next little bit will be, yeah, there it goes. Well, it's still 90 there. Calais ahead. It would be neat if they actually added like a seasons, and in instead of having like a mod, it would just automatically change. Like, you know, it would follow the season, like what's going on. So it's something you can toggle in the game mechanics. So like, hey, you know, do you want the game to follow the season? So like in the spring, it's wetter in the, uh, in the summer, it's usually a lot more sun, a lot of sunnier. In the winter, it's got some snow. Like something like that would be kind of neat. There may be one of those. I don't know. I haven't honestly looked for many mods in European truck sim lately. Oh, it's like an uh, okay. That's a weird off ramp. I guess that's oh, it's a roundabout. <laughs> of course. <gasps> Oh, by the way, there's a speed trap right there that goes into a roundabout. Be careful. That's really bizarre. Bizarre for me, because I don't see that very often. But perhaps I should have been paying more attention. I guess I I was focused on the GPS and not on the road. But but that's actually happens in real life, too. People get focused on the GPS, and they don't focus on what's going on. Okay, lights ahead. Good to know. Looks like we're making a right turn up here. And you still can't make right turns in this game legally. It's not like American Truck Sim, where you can do that. Looks like that's the same truck that was following us before. That's funny. All right. There we go. Now, this is the first, uh, yeah, first left, looks like. And it's somewhere back there. All right, where exactly are we going back here? We're turning to the right, all right. Better slow down here, oh, of course. Slow down, green light. It's always the way it works. Let's try not to clip the side here. And we'll take this a bit wide, because I believe this is our turn off right in here. And 
around. Let's see if we can't get this lined up. There we go. Looks like that looks good. How's that? Perfect. There we go. Unload. Decoupling. Should get a decent score for that one. I don't think I ran into anything. Excellent. Well, the truck job's completed. 15. Excellent. Sweet. Still a professional. That's funny. In, e in ATS, I'm actually a way higher level than that, I realize. All right, folks, that'll be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, Christmas run. And uh, again, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Enjoy. And remember, be responsible. My name's Ian Robson. Catch you guys later.